What's up guys, today we're on site here at a local construction project in Mount Pleasant and we have a F-Max 312 that was specifically built for hauling construction equipment, be it heavy skid steers, a dozer, excavator, you name it, stuff that you would find just like on this job site. Let's take a look at it. I'm gonna walk through some of the features and some of the options that make it just that, make it built for hauling equipment. The first option we're gonna look at is the loading option that was chosen. On this short of a trailer, you've got several options. You've got the hydraulic dovetail, you can go max ramps, XDR ramps, but if you want the ultimate in ease and accessibility, hydraulic dovetail is arguably the number one uh, option to go with. It's got a 10,000 pound lifting and carrying capacity. So that means you get to use more of your deck space. Some of the other brands out there may have close to a 10,000 pound lift capacity, but they restrict you on how much of it you can actually use. On this dovetail, you can lift and carry 10,000 distributed the length of the dovetail. The hydraulic dove also comes with a wireless remote standard. That means you can actually operate it from the seat of your equipment or be standing beside it and raise it up anywhere around the trailer and not have to be tied to a quartered remote there in the box. The next thing we're gonna look at are the D-rings. The individual on this one decided they wanted several more places rather than just having the rub rail to tie down to they've got two four six eight extra d-rings that they can use to be able to chain equipment down say you've got two skid steers well that's four per skid steer to be able to chain to you still have the normal rub rail stake pockets and pipe spools as well what you'll find underneath this one is three 12k axles this trailer is 32 feet long so that's going to be uh 18 no 20 plus 12, 20 foot of deck, 12 foot hydraulic dovetail, and then you have the three 12K axles. And that's part of, when I talked about in the intro, that it's built for hauling heavy equipment. It's a fairly short trailer to have three axles, but that is uh, meaning that it can be loaded pretty heavy and the trailer will take a lot of that distribution, right? You can put a skid steer right here, a skid steer right here, and you're still versus a tandem you would have your axles just like these two are and the front one wouldn't be there. So you'd be putting a whole lot more stress and load on the tow vehicle. So with the three axles, you're actually distributing a lot more weight onto the trailer, making it do the work rather than killing your tow vehicle. This trailer has a 30,000 pound GVWR. It weighs just over 10,000 pounds the way that it's set up. And so that gives you right at a 20,000 pound payload capacity per the sticker. So they also upgraded the wheels and tires on this one. Standard would be a 16 inch wheel with a 14 ply tire. They've upgraded this one to the 17.5 wheel and tire package, which is a 16 ply tire. It's regroovable, super heavy duty. For places like this on this construction site, you never know what kind of debris is on the ground and things, or when you're running the road heavy loaded, you want a tire that's gonna not only last a long time tread wear wise, but also be super puncture resistant. That's what this is, very puncture resistant. What you'll notice too, all down the driver's side, they have the slide track with the four inch ratchets. So the trailer's primarily built and uh, geared toward hauling heavy equipment, but also these contractors many times use the same trailer once they unload their equipment on the site, they need to run to the steel yard or to the lumber yard and get a load. They can do that. And with the four inch ratchets, it makes tying down uh, long material, maybe bundled material or palleted material, it makes tying that material down a whole lot easier. You can load these up with the four inch straps that you like to use as there's different ends and different lengths, but you can actually load those up and it, it really helps being able to tie down equipment. Walking to the front, you see there's a locking chain rack here, which is really cool. It actually, you, you flip this lid up and you can hang as many chains across there as will fit and the chain hang, and the boomers hang down or the binders hang down into that bucket. And it's a great place to store them without having to get them out from another box or the front box. They store right across the back. They're easily accessible. You can actually replace this linch pin with a padlock as well. And where you can keep uh, sticky fingers from stealing chains and binders. Because I don't know if you've looked lately, but those things are kind of expensive. They're an investment in themselves. You'll notice right above the chain rack, there is a winch sticking up. And so, of course, it's inevitable, you're hauling equipment day in and day out to the job site, 
to the, the shop to go have maintenance done, things like that, you're gonna run into a down piece of equipment. It's almost inevitable at some point in your career, you're gonna run into a, one that has a dead battery or something's wrong with the motor or whatever that needs to be essentially drug up on the trailer. They have a 17,500 pound rated warrior winch in the neck of this trailer to where that you can you know, pull that hook out, that fair lead, uh, through the fair lead and drag or pull up a down piece of equipment, get you out of a jam, save you a costly towing bill, and uh, works really well for all, all kinds of situations. Right below it, you can see there's a, a receiver tube where you can actually mount a, say, a snatch block or a D-ring or use that. And if you didn't have the winch mounted in the tray, actually put a winch on a removable mount. Quickly, you'll notice that on top of the neck of this one, you have the eight by seven deck on the neck. What's cool about that is typically the neck area of the trailer is void space. Not a lot goes on there, right? Um, many trailers, the spare is kept there. On this one, we put the spare under the body between the frame rails. But up here, when you add the deck on the neck, especially with a trailer this length, you don't want to take up valuable space with you know, a bucket or forks or pallets or things that you need to transport at the same time. So it gives you that extra working space on top of the neck where you can put those things, strap them down out of the way, and be able to, to transport them to and from the job site and keep the valuable deck space for the equipment that gets the job done. So I, I mentioned this trailer weighing, it weighs 10,700. So that gives you the useful load. I'd said 20,000, it's 19, uh, 19, three in some, in some change. And that is found right on the, on the VIN sticker. Really cool, Diamond C is the only that I know of uh, trailer manufacturer that actually puts the weight right there on the sticker. Now, many of them put a weight there but you're skeptical of if that's actually the trailer you're getting because many of them use and just like we did for a long time use the base weight well you, on this trailer you go to adding the deck on the neck you go to adding the slide track and the ratchets and the 17.5 tires all that is hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of added weight that actually diminishes your carry capacity so be very intentional when you're looking at a trailer if the weight is on there make sure that that's the actual weight because on a diamond C, when you look at the VIN tag, it's the actual weight. We pull it out of the last stage, it goes through inspection, goes right onto a scale with all of its options, then the VIN tag is printed and put on the trailer so you know exactly what kind of weight uh, you're working with, GVWR, and then you can get your actual carry capacity out of it. Last thing I'll mention this one is in the dynamic blue color, one of our eight colors that's available at no charge. We have a few other colors like your um, equipment yellow and tractor green and those colors that are a little bit of an upcharge, but we give you eight standard colors at no charge that are all part of the DM coating system family. And we have several videos out there, jump on YouTube, you can, you can search DM coating system. It's a one of a kind powder coat application. We call it DM coating system because it's so much more than just the powder. It's the entire process the trailer goes through to the point of powder plus a premium grade of Sherwin-Williams. Um, it is a zinc and rich primer with the, the colored top coat on top of it, all baked together, giving you a long lasting, beautiful finish that uh, is gonna last for many years to come. So take a look at that on YouTube or on our learning center. You can jump on diamondc.com and build a 312. Maybe you need a 35 footer. Maybe you need a 38 foot and you only want two 16K axles instead of 312s. You can do that on the website. You can actually build one to fit the lifestyle you live and the work you need to do. Wait, 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 wait. I guess I did it again. I was, I was super excited about all the options that this trailer had and the way it was built that I left out the, the biggest differentiator, you know, what Diamond C pioneered and that is the fleet neck engineered beam technology. So this trailer is built like no other on the market. Five, six years ago, Diamond C pioneered this process of building our own I-beams. It had been done for many years in semi-trailers and in buildings like the one behind us, but in gooseneck flatbed trailers at a production scale, never been done before. What it means is we put the metal where it counts the most. If you took this trailer and one of our competitors, it's gonna weigh five, eight, a thousand pounds, 500, 800, thousand pounds more than what this trailer weighs simply because they use a regular old structural I-beam. Maybe it's a 22 pound beam for this application. Whereas this big frame that we put on this trailer 
because we engineer it, we put the metal where it counts. We actually build the I-beams. We get to keep the weight low and the strength high. The way we do it is their beams are only 12 inches tall, but may weigh 22 pounds a foot. Ours is 16 inches tall in this trailer and weighs about 16 and a half pounds a foot, which is crazy. It's super light, but it's tall and strong. So the frame is actually made out of grade 100 material, which is roughly three times the yield strength of normal mild steel, which you find in a structural I-beam. Same thing goes for the neck. We actually fabricate and build the neck webs, the neck beams, the big part of the neck that you see, we build that in house and versus the other guys use a structural beam. Diamond C pioneered this design to be lighter and stronger than anything else on the road. Take a look at the learning center on diamondc.com. There's more information there about the Fleet Neck Engineer Beam 2.0.